They offered him 50 million and he turned it down. Who gonna turn down 50 million? Now I've had to turn down $50 million four times. Four times. Just to protect my integrity and that virgin hole I was telling yeah. you about. <laughs> right. Uh, Cause P. Diddy be wanting to body. And you gotta tell him no. Oh, you Lord. got to tell him no. I, I did. I did. See, I got the receipts for everything I'm telling you. That's why I can say them so freely. Kid, I need, kid, I need another one. You here? Get you another one. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Come on. Because early on, you was accusing me of being. What's happening, Puff? I'll be back to you if JD ain't had enough. (laughs) Yeah. Jermaine Dupree, king of the pedophiles, if you ask me, baby. You won't believe it. Cat Williams spilled all the juicy details in a recent interview, dropping some serious bombs about rappers and big names in the music biz. Now, with Diddy caught up in some legal mess, clips from Cat's interview are blowing up all over the internet. Back in January, Cat sat down with Shannon Sharp on the Club Shay Shay podcast and didn't hold back. Throughout the chat, the 52-year-old comedian spilled the tea on fellow rappers and other heavyweights in the music game. And now, with Diddy facing all those abuse allegations, Cat's comments about him are going viral on social media. What's even crazier is that Cat seemed to have a crystal ball. During the interview, he straight up predicted that Diddy would get arrested. He said, all of these big de- deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It doesn't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is, all lies will be exposed. In 30 years, I've done nothing but collect information, knowledge, and your secrets. I know so many things I shouldn't know, and they all know it. And lo and behold, it looks like he called it. So where did all of this Diddy mess really start? Well, Diddy's been accused of many things, and the accusations stretch back quite a bit. All right, let's take a deep dive into the messy history of Diddy. This guy's been stirring up trouble since way back in the 90s, and the drama just keeps on rolling. Picture this. It's the 90s, and Diddy's rap sheet is getting longer than his list of hits. First up, we've got the CCNY tragedy of 91, where a celebrity basketball game turned into a nightmare with nine lives lost and dozens injured. Lawsuits were flying everywhere, and Diddy was right in the middle of it. Then there's the Jake Robel shooting in 95, a crazy brawl between Bad Boy and Death Row Cruz that ended with a security guard getting shot outside a club in ATL. Things got real messy real quick, with accusations flying left and right. And let's not forget the feud with music exec Steve Stout in 98. It all started over a music video mix-up, but it escalated fast, with punches thrown and bones broken. Fast forward to 99, when shots went off at Club New York. Diddy was there with his buddy Shine, but while Diddy walked away unharmed, Shine wasn't so lucky. We also can't forget the fact that Diddy's name kept coming up on a regular basis in the talk about the whole Tupac and Biggie saga. So, back in the 90s, when the East Coast-West Coast rivalry was at its peak, things got real heated between Tupac Shakur and the notorious big rumors were flying left and right, with whispers of beef and betrayal. Now, some folks believe Diddy had a hand in the whole mess, either directly or indirectly. There are theories out there suggesting he might have been involved in the deaths of both Tupac and Biggie. It's all murky waters, with conspiracy theories and speculation swirling around. But one thing's for sure, Diddy's name is never far from the center of it all. That was only the beginning. In the new millennium, Diddy upgraded his empire even further, and his power only grew from there. Let's cover some of the most notable incidents that Diddy was involved in. Remember the tussle with J. Cole at a VMA's after party in 2013? Word on the street is that things got heated over Kendrick Lamar's verse, and Diddy allegedly threw punches and drinks. Then in 2014, there was the infamous showdown with Drake over beat rights. Yeah, tensions were high outside a nightclub, with Diddy supposedly taking a swing at Drizzy before denying it all later. And who could forget the chaos at UCLA in 2015? Diddy got into it with a coach during his son's football practice, supposedly swinging a kettlebell and causing a scene. But hold up, there's more. In 2019, Diddy's ex Gina Huyn came forward with some heavy accusations of abuse. She claimed Diddy was handsy throughout their relationship, even comparing her to Cassie. It was a real mess that had everyone talking. He was like mentally, emotionally, and physically abusing me. Diddy. Mm-hmm. It's not the first time we've heard that. 
Mm -hmm. Um, There was an incident, of course, with Cassie, where reporters are saying that the police were called because they got into an altercation. I think it was like two or three years ago, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Tell me some of the things that he would say to you. Um, He would always compare me to Cassie and tell me that I'm the bad one and she's the good one. Um, Now let's fast forward to the legal battles from 2023 onwards. Cassie's lawsuit sent shockwaves through the industry, with some seriously disturbing accusations surfacing. And she wasn't alone. A bunch of other women came forward with allegations dating back to 91, followed by more accusers invoking the Adult Survivors Act and dredging up horrifying incidents from the 90s. But it's not just personal drama plaguing Diddy. There's business beef too. Tiffany Red backed up Cassie's claims in an open letter, spilling details about some shady stuff at a party. Plus, Hulu pulled the plug on a reality show featuring Diddy and his fam amid the allegations, putting his brand on shaky ground. And let's not forget the legal spat with Diageo over their joint ownership of De Leon Tequila. Diddy accused Diageo of pigeonholing the brand to urban markets, but they finally patched things up, with Diddy saying goodbye to his Sea Rock Vodka and De Leon Tequila days. The Cassie lawsuit was the first big thing that we saw in November of last year, and boy was the world shook. After that lawsuit, things have just been falling apart for Sean Combs. So let's talk about the whole Diddy and Cassie roller coaster. It was like a crazy soap opera with twists and turns you wouldn't believe. All right, once Cassie dropped the bombshell lawsuit on Diddy, accusing him of some seriously messed up stuff like rape and sex trafficking, things got real ugly real quick. But then, just when you thought it couldn't get any wilder, they turned around and patched things up like it was no big deal. They put out this joint statement, keeping all the settlement terms hush-hush. Cassie said she's handling things her own way, and Diddy, well, he sent some good vibes her way, trying to play it cool. But let's not forget how it all started. Cassie's lawsuit hit Diddy like a ton of bricks on November 16th, airing out about a decade of alleged abuse and violence during their time together. Diddy denied everything, calling it Cassie's way of trying to squeeze some cash out of him. As they tried to work things out, Cassie's lawyer gave her props for speaking up. The lawsuit painted a grim picture, accusing Diddy of doing some seriously messed up things to Cassie when she was just 19 and he was 37. It was heavy stuff, like pushing pills that messed with her life and more. But settling didn't mean admitting to anything, at least according to Diddy's lawyer. He made it clear they were sticking to their story of denying it all. Before they reached any agreement, things got messy. Cassie's legal team fired back, saying Diddy tried to throw a boatload of cash her way to shut her up, but Cassie wasn't having it. She wanted to speak out for women in similar situations, not just take the money and run. Now, Here's where it gets even crazier. The lawsuit spilled all kinds of beans about Diddy's alleged control over Cassie's life, from her finances to snooping in her medical records. Cassie even claimed she was losing her memory because of the rough treatment and pills Diddy gave her. And there's more. Back in 2016, when Cassie tried to cut ties with Diddy, things got so out of hand that the cops had to step in. But she didn't press charges because she was genuinely scared of Diddy's unpredictable side. The lawsuit went on to detail more disturbing stuff, painting Diddy as controlling and abusive. It even compared their relationship to Ike and Tina Turner's, which is pretty heavy. But wait, there's even more craziness. Back in 2012, when Cassie and Diddy decided to take a break, she hooked up with Kid Cootie. Diddy supposedly lost it and threatened to trash Kid Cootie's ride. And what do you know? Kid Cootie's car ended up in flames in his driveway. Coincidence? Doubtful. And whenever Diddy caught wind of Cassie talking to another guy, he flew off the handle, putting both the guy and Cassie in danger. This dude's behavior is just straight up out there. Some folks are even saying he's downright evil. And now, with this video surfacing showing Cassie in a super distressed state, trying to get away from Diddy, it's like the drama just keeps piling up. What? What What you gotta say now? What you gotta say now? You ain't got shit to say. When you put your girl on the snap, baby, yo, baby. I mean, shit getting weird. Come on, baby, it's hot outside. You fucking wrapped up in that blanket. Let's go jog on the beach. It's not just about physical fights anymore. Diddy's being accused of using Cassie in some seriously messed up ways, 
even getting her involved with other guys. The whole situation is a total mess, shining a light on the dark side of the entertainment world. And there are even whispers about a secret NYPD investigation, suggesting Cassie might not be the only victim. It's a wild ride, and folks are demanding answers. After the Cassie lawsuit, there were rumors that Diddy may have been involved in something nasty back in 2022. Someone anonymously shared a rumor online that ended up being more than just a rumor. In the fall of 2022, Diddy and his son Justin were in the studio cooking up Diddy's next big thing, the Love Album. But instead of smooth vibes, things go left real quick. Word on the street is there was a full-on shootout, right in the middle of their creative flow. Justin's buddy, who was chilling with them, ends up taking a bullet to the gut. Yeah, it's as crazy as it sounds. Guns blazing, chaos everywhere, and poor Justin's friend catching some serious heat. Fast forward to June 2023, and it gets even wilder. Justin gets slapped with a DUI, but here's the kicker. It should have been Diddy's mess to clean up. Talk about taking one for the team, huh? Now here's where it gets spicy. The feds start poking around, digging into the whole mess. It's got everyone talking and wondering if Diddy's working behind the scenes to smooth things over. I mean, when you're as big as Diddy, anything's possible, right? But hold up, there's a tragic twist. Justin's friend didn't just walk away from that shootout unharmed. Nope, he lost a leg in the chaos. It's a real gut-wrenching turn of events that's leaving everyone stunned. And then, Lil Rod lawsuit came and the news simply exploded with articles. So, here's the deal with Lil Rod and Diddy's lawsuit saga. Lil Rod dropped a bomb on Diddy's doorstep, slapping him with a jaw-dropping $30 million lawsuit. But get this, he didn't stop there. Lil Rod also went after Diddy's son, Justin Dior Combs, and Lucian Charles Grange, the big cheese at Universal Music Group. Now this lawsuit ain't no walk in the park. Lil Rod's throwing some serious punches, accusing Diddy of getting physical and keeping him on edge for over a year. And he's not mincing words either. He's tossing around allegations of breaking this big law called RICO, and that's no joke. It all kicked off when Lil Rod signed up to work on Diddy's 2023 album, the love album, Off The Grid. Lil Rod says he basically became Diddy's shadow, living it up in his mansions and cruising on his yacht. But things went south real quick. According to Lil Rod, Diddy had him doing some shady stuff, like recording him and pulling sketchy moves with another producer named Stevie J. And get this, Diddy even dangled the Grammy dream in front of Lil Rod, promising him fame and fortune if he played along. But Lil Rod wasn't about to be anyone's puppet. He says he got put in some seriously embarrassing situations involving young Miami's cousin or assistant and actor Cuba Gooding Jr. Plus. He's got a ton of footage showing Diddy and his crew doing all sorts of sketchy stuff, like handing out booze and drugs to minors and workers, toting unregistered firearms and more. Lil Rod spilling some major tea about being at Chalice Recording Studios in LA during a shooting back in 2022. He claims Diddy told him to fib to the cops and cover up what really happened. But Lil Rod's not stopping there. He's got some aces up his sleeve, including bloody clothes and screenshots showing the aftermath. And hold on to your seats, cause it gets even wilder. Lil Rod says Diddy was talking about using his connection with Bishop T.D. Jakes to clean up his mess after Cassie Ventura's lawsuit hit the fan last November. After all this drama, Diddy's facing even more heat, stepping down from his Revolt TV gig, the media company he co-founded back in 2013. Now, Lil Rod, who was once begging Diddy to pay up for his album work, is calling out Love Records, Motown, and UMG for cashing in on his hustle. But guess what? Diddy's lawyer isn't taking it lying down. They're calling Lil Rod a fibber and claiming he's just looking for a quick buck. They're waving around their receipts, but Lil Rod's lawyer isn't picking up the phone. Looks like this showdown's about to hit the courtroom. And now to the latest on the sex trafficking investigation that led to raids on the homes of Sean Combs here in Los Angeles and in Florida. He has not been arrested or charged, though he is named in multiple assault and trafficking lawsuits. Man, Diddy's really landed himself in a mess. The feds busted not one but two of his spots, one in L.A. and another in Miami. And guess what? It's all tied up in some heavy-duty sex trafficking investigation. Imagine this. Helicopters buzzing, agents swarming. It was like a whole movie scene outside Diddy's crib in LA. And here's the kicker. They even nabbed his sons, Justin and King, right outside their pad in Holmby Hills. But they didn't stop there, oh no. They hit up his Miami spot too. Diddy was down in Florida when it all went down, and rumor has it, 
they snatched his phones before he could make a run for the Caribbean. Now, word on the street is, they've been grilling folks left and right about the alleged sex trafficking, domestic violence, and racketeering. And guess what? They've got a whole lot more of these interviews lined up, apparently. Homeland Security Investigations put out a statement saying they're all over it, joining forces with the local cops to dig deep. But Diddy's keeping tight-lipped about the whole ordeal. Cassie's lawyer, Douglas Wigdor, isn't holding back, though. He's all about backing law enforcement and making sure Mr. Combs gets what's coming to him. And attorney Tyrone Blackburn, who's representing a couple of accusers, is saying it's high time Diddy faces the music. But here's the real kicker. We're still not sure if this raid's connected to those lawsuits filed against Diddy in the past few months. One thing's crystal clear, though. Diddy's got a ton on his plate right now. And it's not just these recent lawsuits. Cassie dropped a bombshell complaint back in November, accusing Diddy of some seriously messed up stuff like brutal beatings and sex trafficking. And she wasn't alone. Two more women came forward around Thanksgiving with similar horror stories. Diddy's been brushing it all off, but the heat's been cranked way up. He even called it quits on his gig at Revolt TV, and a bunch of companies have severed ties with him. Looks like he's in for one heck of a rocky road ahead. But hold your horses. We're not even close to ending this crazy Diddy saga. There's more news that came in literally a few days ago. All right, check this out. Diddy's alleged mule. Yeah, you heard it right. Got nabbed on Monday while Diddy and his crew were facing off with federal agents. TMZ got all the juicy details confirmed. Here's the lowdown. 25-year-old Brendan Paul got hit with two drug charges after the feds showed up on Diddy's plane at Opalaka Airport in Miami. He's looking at one count for suspected cocaine possession and another for suspected marijuana candy possession. Both serious stuff down in Florida. The paperwork spills that the officers, teaming up with Homeland Security and Customs and Border Protection, stumbled upon what looked like drugs in Paul's travel bags. And guess what? Paul owned up to it. They tested the substances and, bingo, they were the real deal. So, Paul ended up getting tossed in the slammer, but he's already out on bail. Paul's name got dropped in Rodney Jones's lawsuit bombshell against Diddy. You know, the one where he's labeled as a close buddy of Diddy's, supposedly handling his stash and guns. And get this, there are even pics of Paul chilling with Diddy, all included in Rodney's lawsuit. The whole Cassie lawsuit was just the tip of the iceberg for this Diddy drama. But it was Lil Rod's lawsuit that really blew the lid off Diddy's whole situation for everyone to see. Even though we're witnessing Diddy's fall unfold by the day, there's something that has to be said, and it's about Cat Williams. This man basically predicted all that we're seeing right now. Like he said it at Shea Shea earlier this year, this year is the year of exposure, and boy have we seen people being exposed. So get this, Cat Williams spilled all the tea in a recent interview, dropping some major bombshells about rappers and big shots in the music biz. Now, with Diddy caught up in major legal drama, clips from Cat's interview are blowing up all over the internet. Back in January, Kat sat down with Shannon Sharp on the Club Shay Shay podcast and let loose. Throughout the chat, the 52-year-old comedian didn't hold back, dishing out dirt on fellow rappers and other big names in the music game. And now, with Diddy facing all those abuse allegations, Kat's comments about him are going viral on social media. What's wild is that Kat seemed to predict Diddy's troubles. During the interview, he dropped this bomb. In a video shared on X, formerly Twitter, Williams seemingly exposed Diddy in a cryptic statement. Just to protect my integrity and that virgin hole I was telling yeah. you about. <laughs> right, uh, cause P Diddy be wanting to party. And you gotta tell him no. Oh, you Lord. got to tell him no. Oh. I, I did. I did. Oh, See, I got the receipts for everything I'm telling you. That's why I can yeah, say them yeah, so I need, freely. Kid, kid, I need, kid, I need another one. You here, get you another one too, Thank you, sir, kid. thank you. Come on. Cause early on you was accusing me of being Another person who has absolutely clowned Diddy and been exposing all the dirty laundry that has been coming up in the last few years is 50 Cent. Puppies a fruit pile. It's a fruit pile, trust me. You see these little weird ass pictures and shit like that out there? I'm just sitting out there for no reason. You don't see accident pictures with me like kissing me. Like that doesn't happen by accident. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, look, look. Later you gonna find out a little shit that I'll be saying. Man. 50's been on Diddy's case since Cassie dropped her lawsuit bombshell. He's been relentless, shining a light on all the shady stuff Diddy's been up to over the years. Back in 2010, 
50 spilled some major tea on Shade 45, raising eyebrows about Diddy's connection with Cassie. He claimed he got some spicy pics of Cassie sent to his phone, way hotter than what was out there. So he hit up Diddy to get the scoop. Diddy owned up to dating Cassie, but 50 was left wondering where those explicit shots came from. He even hinted that someone close to Diddy might have been behind it. The tension between 50 and Diddy is nothing new. It's like a rap legend. And with 50 teasing more drama to come, it's like watching a train wreck in slow motion. 50's not holding back, calling out Diddy for paying up too late and predicting more women to come forward with their stories about him. And if that's not enough, there's talk of 50 Cent stirring the pot even further by bringing up Diddy's connection to Tupac's death. It's like a never-ending soap opera in hip-hop, with beef, accusations, and secrets swirling around. Now, with Homeland Security raiding Diddy's crib, you know 50 Cent's got something to say about it. He's trolling Diddy hard, saying it's the end for him now. And that tweet he dropped? Classic 50, stirring the pot and getting everyone talking. As we wrap up this wild ride through Diddy's drama-filled world, one thing's clear. This story's far from over. With all the bombshells and accusations flying, it's like peeling back layers on a giant onion. The music biz's darker side is on full display, and Diddy's legacy is hanging in the balance. So buckle up, folks. We're in for one heck of a ride. Peace out, and don't forget to keep it, Rizzle.